Hey, what's up, guys? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little tutorial or review here on this uh, it, this fluid extractor. It's a uh, it's made by Holt Industries. I actually picked this one up at Harbor Freight. It, this one, this particular model, it evacuates and it dispenses. Uh, I use this a lot. I do uh, we do mobile repair, mainly mobile brake repair, and uh, some mobile oil changes. And we were looking for a way to eliminate having to crawl under the vehicle and risk you know spilling spilling oil on the customer's driveway and stuff like that and uh, this thing works perfect for what we need it for if you do all your own oil changes at home your diy type of person this is probably worth investing in one of these for you um, like i said it works really well i'm going to show you how how to use it here and what i think of it uh, you basically you have this tube that comes out of the canister here and it comes with three, I think three tube sizes um, out of the box. And you basically just attach it and you just run it down the dipstick. Um, I've already got this one kind of in there. You just run it down to the dipstick. I always put it in until I hear it hit the bottom. You can kind of, some of them are a little tricky because uh, once you hit the bottom, some of the, sometimes the tube will keep going and it will actually probably curl up inside the oil pan. And you don't want that you want it obviously down at the very bottom of the pan so you get all the oil out of there uh, with that being said this probably will leave a little bit of oil in the system um, which i'm okay with this is you know this is my personal vehicle that we're doing now but um, my from what i've seen so far it probably gets 98 percent of the oil out of the system and um, you know you refill it with the normal size of course always check the oil when you're you know when you're filling it up make sure you're not overfilling anything um so with that being said i'll go ahead and we'll do it uh it's basically this is a hand pump model you can get the pneumatic model that hooks up to the air compressor um like i said this is the hand pump model because we don't we don't use any air tools or anything so uh you basically on the side here it's got a little switch that you flip up you see you can see it's labeled up is evacuate down is dispense so we're evacuating it so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up on it. It's good. And it's just like a bike pump, basically. It's gonna build up pressure. See, there goes the oil. So when you're pumping this, you pretty much just, it builds up pressure and it's, it'll only get so far. So if you pump it, get it, it'll kind of stop pumping. You'll feel it getting kind of tighter, I guess. And you can just let it sit. It builds up pressure in the system and it'll keep pumping you don't have to continuously pump it the whole time which is nice because that would definitely wear you out and you can see you can see our oil is filling up there uh one thing i will say is i wish this canister was a little bit more transparent i know that this you know they they probably have a bunch of regulations on what type of plastic you can use you can see over on this side has the measuring thing you can see we're almost at two liters you can see it just pumping up. So I think uh, this is a Sienna van, so it should hold, I know it holds six quarts, I'm about 800 miles past due on the oil change. So my guess is we're probably gonna pull five, five and a half quarts out of this in a perfect world. So we'll see what happens here. Get a little bit more pump. So you can see when you're pumping it, it just basically stops. You can see it's just filling right up. This really makes things so nice. I mean, I don't have to climb under the vehicle. I'm gonna have to climb under there and, and change the filter, but that's much easier than having to get under there and loosen that drain plug and, uh, you know, worry about getting oil in the driveway or, you know, busting your knuckles on the oil pan. Uh, I know climbing under those vehicles can it's not much fun especially on a hot day like it is here it's 90 degrees so so yeah this works pretty well you can see it just it's just filling up and there it goes you can see it bubbling so it's getting that's getting the last of it but you can see before we were bubbling I mean we we're at five and a half liters which it's just about six quarts of oil so this thing's fairly new so it doesn't burn 
doesn't burn any oil. I was kind of expecting to get about six quarts out of there. And that's about what we got. You can see it's just it's finishing up. So that's it. Just wanted to say jump on and let you guys, you know, you guys check this out for yourselves. Like I said, if you change your own oil at home, this is probably worth the investment. I think I paid on 140 bucks for this one. This was the this was more of the upgraded model. You can buy a model that does not dispense, it just evacuates. I think it's a little bit cheaper, but I use this a lot. Obviously, it's it's used in uh, professional settings so it gets a lot of use and I want to make sure that I bought the upgraded one because I don't want it breaking on me in two months and I have to buy another one so so yeah that's it there you go take care